constantly learning, developing their talents, and honing their skills. Students are engaged and loving Union's opportunities. Union is the heart of its community. So what better time than Valentine's Day, Tuesday, February 14th, to vote on a bond proposal that will benefit all of our students. As most of our patrons know, bond issues are absolutely the lifeblood of our existence. Certainly in light of uh, our funding issues that we continue to deal with in Oklahoma. This will be a $26 million proposition and the good news for our voters is that we'll not raise our taxes above our traditional levels. We are in the middle of building a new elementary school, Elementary 14, and it will be about 11 million of this $26 million bond issue. We are in essence really building two elementary schools in one to take care of our growth needs in the north central part, but it'll also free up uh, space in the southern part of our district. This is going to be phase two, so this will finish out the gym, the activity areas, and the music rooms that will also allow us to do what I would call the bones of phase three, which is going to be the concrete and steel. We have some learning corridors in the classrooms which open up into those learning corridors. We have maker spaces that are going to be set up for the kids to do hands-on activities. We've worked very closely with our teaching and learning staff to create what we believe is going to be the best possible learning environment for our kids. The first part of this school will open up in August of 2017 where all of our kindergarten through fifth grade students at Briar Glen will transition from Briar Glen to phase one of elementary 14. Another way we'll make good use of bond dollars is to purchase classroom and media center books, computers, software, and equipment district-wide, while allotting each school funds to meet their specific capital needs. The growth in Union's nationally recognized elementary through high school science, technology, engineering, and math initiative is unprecedented. Five years ago, there were 75 students in STEM-specific courses. Today, that number has surpassed 10,000. I was in a middle school classroom and I saw how our students were building an orthotic device for a student with cerebral palsy. First, we're gonna wrap this around his leg. About here, there's gonna be the support. And when I thought about them having access to a maker space, or this fabrication laboratory and how they could have really taken that prototype to a new level if they would have had access to those tools. It made me even more excited about the future of what we can offer our students. It's exciting to see that, but it's also a little alarming when you realize, wow, we're out of classroom space, we need more computers, we need more software programs to support not only just the regular curriculum that we're offering, but also our STEM program and our advanced placement and concurrent and our virtual programs. The third part of this bond issue will be dedicated to setting aside about $2 million for professional services to begin looking at a high school stadium renovation along with additional classrooms for the high school and our fine arts program. We have a stadium that is over 40 years old and you know it's it needs a needs a little love so it, it's we've got to go in and look at what some of our options are. Professional services allows us to bring in architects and structural engineers, the civil engineers, to let us know what parameters we have as we plan for a major project like what we're going to have on the high school campus. Like the stadium, many Union schools are aging. With voter approval February 14th, the worn out flooring and carpeting at Cedar Ridge will be replaced. We'll address McCullough's leaking roof. Exterior work will be done at Peters and Darnaby. And heating, ventilating, and air conditioning systems will be upgraded with more cost-effective, energy-saving technology at Darnaby and the high school. None of these projects can happen without bond dollars. And every vote really does count, especially since school bonds require a 60% supermajority to pass. Our students, I would say, truly love this district, and they're the ones who really make us shine. We hope more than anything that our public will continue to support us and show us the love that they have for our work in this district by voting on Tuesday, February 14th. Don't forget to iHeart Union.